all right back with another video this is going to be a longer video that you guys are asking for um the product that i've been using recently that i talked about in my previous video was the Cantu like leave-in conditioner and it's great it's good stuff it's uh been working out it's very 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 affordable like it's not too much money and the improvements and the uh really the product is a really really good product for the price i was very very shocked that i was able to you know see this type of results we're not spending so much money like i spent less than ten dollars it was like 5.99 so i was like bet and I, I got it and it is working like it moisturizes my hair uh and this is going to be kind of like a more in-depth video so i just want to let you guys know that but I think you guys will appreciate it. I think you guys want more videos that are longer. So I'm just kind of testing this out. But as you can see, when I put it in my hair, it's moisturizing it very well. Uh, it does curl my hair up like a lot. So I have to brush, especially if you have like longer hair, uh, you will probably have curlier hair after this. It's gonna make your hair stand up. So that's what I've been noticing with, um, this product but it's good like if especially if you use a do-rag after you know you put it on use a do-rag and then you go to sleep it's a really really good product so i just kind of wanted to let you guys know this before i really get in depth with the video was to show you that this is the product and you know this is what i use generally well this is what i'm going to keep using i still kind of use my shade moisture products but this is kind of taking over surprisingly i was like wow so i don't have to use that as often i can just use this product and i'm good and um yeah i just kind of want to show you a close-up so it did all of that and it's 5.99 so i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna buy so much of this stuff because this is ridiculous i did not expect to see results like this on this little can two leave-in conditioner uh, leave-in conditioners are very, very important though. I will tell you that. Leave-in conditioners are, I think, more important than um, the conditioner shampoo because your hair can dry out throughout the day. So it's good to have a good leave-in conditioner. Um, so yeah, that's this is just the beginning. This is when my hair was longer. And then we're gonna transition. This is when I, I actually got my hair cut. So I got my hair cut recently. And you know, it was a really good cut. I listened to you guys, everybody in the comments was saying, some people said I took an L when I made a video about taking an L. I did, you know, so, you know, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna take two Ls, you know, once you grow, you know, you gonna listen. So I actually, what I do? I showed him a picture and I did the low temp fade and then he faded out the back and it looks amazing. I'm glad I took y'all's advice uh i know the other time was a mistake but like i'm glad i listened and everything so you guys are on it like you know what's up you know what looks better so i mean i'm really pleased with the results uh i did a low temp fade um not everybody's used to it because they're used to my I'm, I'm doing like a high temp fade but you know it's whatever it's i do these videos for you guys so i try to make sure that i'm you know catering to you guys so this is like pretty much the next segment I wanted to get into where I'm gonna start getting into more is the brushing. Man, 360 waves are so difficult. It does not make any sense how difficult it is depending on your type of hair. Like if you have curly hair, this is difficult, bro. Like it's not easy at all. It's not as easy as I expected. I thought that, you know, I normally have waves on the top, but Dude, the connections are so difficult. Like it's, it's literally no joke. You have to sit there behind a mirror, have two mirrors, one behind you, have a handheld mirror, and look as you're brushing. Because I just brush any type of way. I'm trying to fix that. I'm left-handed, so my right, my right side is trash. Like I'm, I know that. I have like forks everywhere. I'm trying to work on this. I mean, you got to give me time. Like, it's not something I knew, like just grew up knowing how to do. I didn't even think like waivers really like waivers on YouTube don't explain how difficult this is, like how to get 
a connection like get like rings like perfect rings of waves around your hair is not easy so i think my video is going to be leaning more to brushing like longer like brush sessions or whatever i think that video does pretty well too for me but man it's so difficult to do this like it's it's like my right side is perfect left side i mean my left side is perfect right side trash i think it may be flipped a little bit but just know my right side is not strong at all my back it's trying to ah uh, it's just i gotta work on this but if you do like the video make sure you go downstairs like the video comment and subscribe for more content because i will be back so thank you guys so much i really appreciate it